I'm pleased to say that James and Bob are here now. Good to see you. Bob's just checking Hello. us all out. Bob, come here, Bob. Come I, I'm a big cat fan, actually. Am I allowed to give him a little stroke? You can give him a little scratch on the top of the head, yeah. OK, there we go. He's, uh, I, yeah, I, he's investigating because, yes, it's all strange smells to him, so... Just checking it all out. Good boy. As long as he's with Dad, he's with happy. You, yeah. you can if he wants to. You want to come and sit on my lap? That makes him a little bit settled. No. Oh, yeah, I, think, I think he'll be there. I think he'll be fine there. Okay. Bob, do you want to give me a high five? Hey. <gasps> Do you want a num-num? I wanted to give me a high-five, but I'm scared that a cat will leave sit. me hanging on national television. Why don't you so sit down? OK. You want to give me a high-five? Come on. High-five. Oh, oh, no, he doesn't want to do it. He's, he's, I think he's a bit... Leave him be to get sorted while we chat yes, about him. Let's... He's oh, a legend he's, he's uh, because good. of the story that you told about him. And you have a new book out, a third book. Mm -hmm. could, did you, could you ever have believed a few years ago that you'd be sitting here on a three-book deal with the success and, and the love that's coming towards you? Well, yeah, I mean, it's incredible. The, the, the three autobiographies that I've written, this third one, obviously, it's, uh, it delves into the last Christmas that Bob and I had before everything changed uh, back in 2010. And um, it's, you know, when, the first, when, when my agent approached me back, uh, way back then, you know, and she said, would you like to write the story of you and Bob? because we'd been featured in the Islington Tribune by um, um, a local journalist called Peter Green. It, um, we, she, she approached me and I just thought it was another crazy person with some crazy idea, because I, I, I was a big issue vendor or busker, whatever the day took me to be. Um, and people always come up to crazy ideas and I just sort of brush it off. And then the next thing I know, I'm being put in contact with an agent, uh, I mean, uh, for working and, and here I'm you writing are. the book, yeah. And, here you are. and now 2012, we're nearly in 2015. Uh, the first book has been published in 35 languages at least. Uh, so the first book has sold over a million copies in the UK. Mm. And I wrote a sequel uh, because there was so much demand for it and I felt you know, maybe if people should understand, like, the Christmas for people mm. that, like, Bob and myself and other homeless people and animals have to kind of experience. But from my perspective, obviously, because uh, I can't relate from anybody else's, so, you know, it's how I, how I dealt Felt. with it, you know, and, and, and how he helped me get through it. 